Good morning crafters and welcome to Hunky Dory TV on this wet and windy Monday morning. Actually, wet, I say wet and windy, if you look outside your window I admit that your weather may vary, but here in Preston it is very wet and it is very windy. True Natalie? Very true. Very true. Um, okay, uh, it's 10am, it's Monday morning, it's time for the craft show. Uh, we have Emily with us today producing the show. Good morning Emily. Good morning. And we have the fantastic Natalie Mosprat. Morning Nat. Good morning everyone. How, How are, are you Nat? 
I'm good. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, it was filled with lots of adventures, actually. Adventures? Where yeah. have you been? We've been um, walking up. Uh, we went from where we live. Well, actually, we don't live there. Um, we went from Helmshaw, which is where Dan's mum is. Um, we went up to the top of the moor, all the way across to Ramsbottom, to Peel Tower. Um, and then we went down um, into the town to have pick up a little takeaway coffee because we needed it and then we walked back. Fabulous. Hello. So a couple of hours worth of nice exercise. It's yeah, good. Yeah, about two and a half hours all together. That's good. A that. nice stroll. We weren't we weren't rushing. You weren't pushing it. Yeah. But it's lovely, isn't it? It's so really the, nice. The weather was okay this weekend. It was it a bit chilly, yeah, especially bit like chilly. right on the top, but it was really nice. I spent, I think, eight hours power washing this weekend. Oh, it's it's so, it, you get very sore wrists, but it, it's so incredibly, it's, it's cathartic, the right though, word. Isn't it? As you're doing it, you, it it's like yeah. painting the, the, the ground, isn't it? It's the colours so of, the, nice. of the stones come back through, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, 10 a.m. guys, it's time for the craft show. As you know, we have a brand new live launch today uh, and we're very, very excited about it. Um, before we go to that, uh, a little bit of due diligence. Goodie boxes. Over two thirds of the goodie boxes that were sold last week have already been dispatched. Wow. Um, the service team are doing such a good job. The, uh, the pickers and packers, the people on the phone, uh, they're doing a brilliant job and we're ever so proud of them. Um, the goodie box was crazy. It was, wasn't it? It I was crazy. I can't believe how fast they all went and how amazing they were. It's amazing. Was... <laughs> there were still some left right at the end, you know. But really? Not very many at all, but there were some left right at the end. Do we now. have any left now? There's, no, it's gone now. So oh, That's so sad. The goodie box, if you are, if we're all well behaved, then the goodie box will come back again round about this time next year. But it's a whole year to wait. It's been lovely seeing on Facebook people's posts, uh, posting what they've got in their goodie boxes. Um, there's been Violet Delights, Everlasting Memories, um, Woodland Wildlife, Rose Quartz Dreams, uh, Precious Peonies, um, Eastern Wishes. There's been so many fabulous kits that people have been finding in their goodie boxes. Um, and it's lovely that no one knows what they're going to get until they actually get it. I know, it's it. really nice, isn't it? It's been brilliant. So we've had, we've had a wonderful feedback and thank you so much. Um, it's a thing we love, love doing. Uh, and it will be back this time next year, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so today, bit of news. It's International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day to all the ladies out there. Uh, today is all about celebrating the power of women and their social, economic, cultural and political achievements, which are many, we can all agree. Um, would you also hop onto the Hub for day eight of the International Craft Month? Um, so there's something new on the Hub on hunkydorycrafts.co.uk every day for the whole of this month um, and today is day eight. Are you ready for Win It Weekly? I'm excited for this. Wow. It's always something good. I, I like this. Always so. something good. Emily's chosen this and put this together. Okay. I love that this week's oh. Win It Weekly, if you see it, this week's Win It Weekly is, can we get this here? The February Little Books Multi-Buy. It's only March. This is the February Little Books Multi-Buy. Okay. So this came out last month. It includes all three little books, all three of them. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. I know, it includes all three worth 20 quid for three. Actually, they're, they're, norm they're £9.99 each, so you could say it's 30 quid, but we do a multi-buy for 19 98 There are going to be five winners. That's crazy. Five, it's not five winners of that book, or that book, or that book. It's five winners of all, all books. three books. Wow. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, and if you want to be in with a chance of winning, then we would like to know the answer to this question. Not seen it yet. Uh, native to the Caribbean, what sort of animal is the mountain chicken? What? Is there such an animal as a mountain chicken? These native questions. to the Caribbean, what sort of animal is the mountain chicken? Is it a frog? Uh, is it a flamingo? Mm, but they're mountain, flamingo in the mountains, I don't know about that. Or is it a monkey? I've never seen a monkey look like a chicken, I don't know. Um, guys. Please, I guess people are going to Google it. I don't know the answer to this. It's very. It exciting. could be a frog if they're like massive frogs. A big frog, like a feathery like, frog. Hu no, but like huge <laughs> frog. A frog with feathers. No, not with feathers. That's an ugly but chicken. I'm, I'm just trying to think in comparison. If it was a big frog and it was like hopping around. Okay. Then, then it they would, could say, yeah. Oh, it looks like a chicken. <laughs> um, yes, because that's the kind of thing that you hear here a lot. Uh, when you're watching Unky Dory TV, that frog looks like a chicken. Um, is it A, frog, B, flamingo, or C, monkey? Uh, if you want to be in with a chance of winning, we need the answer to that question, and the answer needs to be right. We are going to give these away at 10 o'clock, in our 10 o'clock show on uh, Friday, this Friday. 
Thankcraft It's Friday, which I do believe is myself and Natalie. It is. I'm excited about that now. It's brilliant. Uh, okay, what else have we got going on? Let me see. Um, oh, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Excuse me while I turn my back for just one second. Something. Oof. Something has arrived here at Hunky Dory. I went and took this just now off a pallet that has arrived. When I say a pallet arrived, 14 pallets arrived. I was arrived. very excited when this came. However, I couldn't park in the car park, so I was also very annoyed. <laughs> it's absolutely true. So there's a big articulated lorry right across the, uh, the entrance to the car park. No one could get in. Shall I show you what's in here? Oh. I just want to show you. I'm quite excited about I it. I know because I can see it on the side. Can you see it on the no side? No one else I'm, is going to be okay, able to not, see it no, on no, the no, side. No, no, no. So there have been delivered this morning. Oh my gosh, and this is so much stuff Something though. that is out of stock. Oh yes, there's, there's other stuff that was out of stock that's been delivered as well. Um, this is like opening a goodie box except I know, I know what's in it. Um, okay, it's just there as we exciting, go. just exciting though. It is rather exciting. So for those of you at home Don't who have been... Don't put your knife away. Who are, do I need it again? Yeah, there's little boxes in there. Is there a box inside the box? <laughs> oh no, there no, is No, we're okay. We're all right. I thought they were boxes. We are okay. Guys, I'll turn it around so that you can't see what it says. Yeah? There are, inside this box, 144, which should sell it by the box. And we're not joking. We, this sold really it's good the other day, crazy. didn't it? So there are 144 inside this box. Inside that one is six. Construction glue is back in stock, everybody. Construction glue is back in stock. Not only is construction glue back in stock, but, uh, and I'm really pleased that we've done this, we're doing it for £8.99 for six bottles instead of the £9.99 for six bottles multiplier that we normally do. We've taken another quid off it, so that it's another 10% off to say thank you to everybody for waiting so patiently for construction glue to come back in stock. Isn't that fabulous? It's so that's crazy. The first 144 are in there. Do not worry, if you uh, if you can't get your construction glue quite yet for whatever reason, um, it my aim is for this not to go out of stock. I have said this in the past though, we haven't have, I? We have, we have. I have, and I've been found wanting, so I do apologise. Uh, but we are talking, there's 35,000 bottles of it or something like that that have just come in this morning. Um, and it's not the only back in stock goodies as well. Please excuse me while I turn my back to put this back down. Oh, that's an age thing, isn't it? Mm, do you yeah. know that? when you yeah. pick things up that's an age thing um okay everyone at home are you ready for our brand new live launch uh, we've got some lovely vt we'd like to show you here we go That's right, our decoupage books are back. They're back in a big way with three brand new volumes. Um, I like that, volumes of decoupage books. It's good, isn't it? Shall we take a little bit of a closer look? Oh, in fact, uh, the, we'll go to the multi-buy first. So there are three books, you've just seen them there, or some cards that were made by them. Uh, for £28.77, you can get all three of these books today. And we'll show you all of them, don't worry. Um, we'll go through some wonderful demos with Natalie. Uh, you get to see all the individual sheets as well. Uh, so you can save 20% if you want all three of these books by buying them together, or indeed they are £11.99 each, is that correct? Yeah. Yes. You got it right. Get it right. Would you like to take a look at the first one? Um, there are three of them. There's Midnight Garden, there's Teddy Loves, and there's Lovely Ladies. But in honour of International Women's Day, we will go for Lovely Ladies first. Uh, let's take a look. Okay. So this is um, an example of these decoupage sheets made up into their decoupage. So it's quite tricky to show, but you can see the depth that there is in these. There we go. That's perfect, isn't it? And I'll show you some of these designs a little bit closer up. But isn't that lovely? It, there's so many nice um, different varieties in here, um, which I absolutely love. You've got people together, you've got people sort of um, on their own, you've got nice images that are perfect for all different types of women. You've got afternoon tea in here, you've got some flowers, you've got a beautiful ballerina. 
Um, I just think it's fantastic. Let's just take a close-up. I'll bring this over here. Let's just take a little bit of a close-up on some of these that we can see at the bottom. Um, isn't that beautiful? But again, look it's at the so depth. Good. Look at that. And these are just using our two mil foam pads. We made these up and put these on this board for you. But you can use glue here if you wanted to, silicone glue, and you can really sort of um, create some dimension. But they're just, they're really, really amazing. The images just stand off those backgrounds. Don't they just? It's beautiful. Really, really pretty. Love the Art Deco. Real, some real quality artwork there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, close up, I can only show, the, show you these ones, but I'll show you the actual book itself if you're ready. I'll pop this back over here. So this is Lovely Ladies. You can buy Lovely Ladies on its own, uh, should you choose, for £11.99. But again, it is part of that multi-buy that's 20... So... The little book <laughs> is here our... That's £28.77 um, uh, that you can get all three of these for. But here we go. So uh, this is your, your Lovely Ladies decoupage book. So this is for you to cut out at home, guys. So this doesn't come die cut, so just to make sure that you're aware of that. Now, people who aren't big fans of fussy cutting still buy the decoupage book because they can be used as toppers as they well. They can, they can be used as toppers. Um, you can also use the dies in some of these as well to cut them out and um, create nice backgrounds. But also you don't need to use all of these elements either. You can just use, say you wanted to have this beautiful watering can as just a little element on the edge of your card. You can cut that out. You don't need to use the backing. Um, you've got some lovely flowers here that you can add as little um, elements to topper cards and things like that. Absolutely. So, can you see that they're all numbered as well? So they're I numbered. Love that. So that yeah, absolutely. So that you can you can easily you know what layer yep. to do them in. I mean, decoupage in a way it's just the largest layer to the smallest layer if that makes sense. But it is. sometimes it does help having them numbered. You do not need to use all the layers. We you give you lots of layers. In fact, we give you extra layers. You give it loads. So, but you don't need to use all of them if you don't want. It is completely down to you. So, 72 pages in here. You make 48 individual decoupage toppers, which I think is wonderful. It's such good value. And you can see all of these, you get the main topper sheet themselves. Uh, itself, sorry, along with you get borders on there, you get sentiments on there, so it's a real nice mix and, and the ability to make a card, isn't it? Yes. So you can make full cards from this without a problem, you just need some cardstock. <coughs> isn't it really, really pretty? There you go. That's gorgeous. I love the oriental theme there. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty. There we go. Isn't that good? But I the like dimension you have in all of these is just beautiful and I think there's something really special about decoupage really really special I totally agree now these guys are available on is, is there a multi-buy on them normally Emily I'm sure there's a multi-buy on these normally we'll just we'll just double check that for you because it might just be my mind playing tricks on me as it is want to do since I turned 30, 43 years old <laughs> it, um, it decides that it doesn't want to do what I want it to do anymore it wants to do what it wants to do uh, okay, so this is the first of your three decoupage Look books, Lovely Beautiful. Ladies. Let's go across to the incredibly well-behaved Natalie Muspratt and see what she's going to make for us today. I like how you said that, but also you were thinking she's an absolute <laughs> pain. Um, so I've decided to use the absolutely stunning um, ballerina from this section. And you can see that I've already started to cut some layers out because it does take a little bit of time and you don't want to see me sat here for hours cutting. But I did, I've got two bits here because I wanted to show you how easy it is to do. So this is our layer four and each of your decoupage, as you can see, has this really nice white layer. I'll just bring it up a bit closer so you can see. A really nice white layer, which is sort of like your cutting guide. So up to that white layer is what we're going to cut around. And it because it's paper, because the GSM is quite forgiving, um, you can really, really um, sort of manipulate it and adapt it. So using your scissors to cut these out um, is an absolute dream. And it's so, so easy to do. It's quite relaxing. Um, something that we suggested I think on another show we've done with these is maybe cut them out put them all in little bags and then put them in a little storage box with the um, cover of your pad 
and then when you want to make a card and you're thinking oh let's use decoupage you've already got all your elements cut out so you can just get straight on to making cards it's very clever um, it's isn't it? such a for people especially for people who sell their makes um it's a really nice idea so that's um, one layer cut out there and then this one I also left because this one um, obviously has a cut in layer and for this I would definitely recommend um, getting your craft knife out making sure that it's nice and sharp but using your craft knife for these inner layers um, and always move your paper around so it fits you move your um, paper rather than your knife because you can't move your hand in crazy positions that you sometimes need to and don't worry if you think oh that's a little bit too difficult because you can just trim off whatever you want the beauty of this is that it's your decoupage so you make it how you nobody want it to be nobody knew what it looked like before did they no they didn't natalie you're talking about using a sharp blade in your knife well good news people the knife that natalie is using there has spare blades it that can does. be purchased separately to make um so make sure that you've got a nice sharp uh, blade and they've been out of stock but guess what are they back they're back oh, they're the back in stock ever. i know there's some really good stuff back in stock isn't there right so then it just goes straight down here and the designers have done a really good thing so where it's a bit more trickier around sort of like arms and legs they've also kept some of the background in so it doesn't get super fussy and it's easy to attach your foam pads and that's what we're going to do next so i've got our foam pad strips i'm going to use our smallest one here um, to go around the outside of this frame first. So, as always, like when you're doing your toppers, you can manipulate this foam pad around the layers. I think that's just bent a little bit. There we go. And then we'll use another one. Hopefully we can get to the end here. There we go. Lots of chat about the goodie boxes. People have been receiving their goodie boxes, Nat, and this loving what's news. inside. Uh, so Jeanette's just said, next year I'll get four boxes. Um, so it's yeah, people so have been. It's so worth it. They're, they're such. They've been so so well they're received. Really, the really boxes. good. It's sad to see them go. I know. I'm. I can't believe that it's done. It's over. Um, because it was something that we do look forward to because of how amazing the deals are. So I'm just going to get some smaller squares. I've got some here. And these squares I'm just going to use in these smaller areas here, in these corners where they're coming off, um, because you don't want it to droop really. You want to, you can be, you can be quite clever with where you fo put your foam pads, because um, you don't need to use a lot all the time, but it is about placement and making sure that you do put them in the right places. So now we can use this, all, all of our layers, and we can stick them. Um, where we want them to be so i'm just going to cut so the foam again. pads are that's what creates the space between the layers yeah your dimension is created by lifting those layers off each other and the space between the layers is, is what creates the look or the 3d effect yes that it's that sort get. of coming out towards you isn't it okay so let's peel this off and then we're going to lift this onto our background now i knew i'd let that come over a little bit too much but if i just trim that down it's so just my foam pad i just stuck it on a little bit wonky but we can trim that and then you won't be able to see when we've got that on so this will now layer up beautifully on top of here and we can put all of our other corresponding layers on and then we can build this into a card now I really love the having freedom to create your own backgrounds and things and that's something that when you make in toppers you already have sort of everything for you it's ready to go it makes it super super convenient um, as a crafter when you have it all like that but I do sometimes miss being able to be quite um, creative and put by putting backgrounds together just by using cardstock um, so that's what I like about these decoupage books is that you have the freedom to be able to do that. So we're nearly there now. Look at it. It's like she's, um, she's dancing like she's out floating, out, out, isn't no, towards it? you. It's fantastic. So I've got this skirt ready to go. And what I'm going to do just before I add it on is I'm going to take my glue pen 
and you can see these little oh that is a lot of glue let's just take that off I'm gonna just there we go just need to get the right consistency and on these bigger dots I'm just gonna add a little blob of glue and we're gonna jazz this up with some glitter Great, uh, great comment by Faith Berry on Facebook. She says, is there any chance of a 12 Days of Christmas decoupage book in the future, Wouldn't please? that be amazing? That sounds a really good idea. So then before we just stick these on, because this is going to be the easier way to do it, so your glue doesn't stick, so your glitter, sorry, doesn't stick to any of your foam pads, we're just going to cover that with some glitter. And we'll tap that off, and that'll just stick to... Those bits where we added our little glue dots, we can stick this onto here. Margaret Samuel says, can you do a girl skating sometime? I think that's a good idea as well. Mm. We'll make sure we put that to the design team for you. We'd love to hear your, your wants or needs or, or um, hopes for artwork uh, or for themes. We love to hear it all because we can take it all on board and we try and, uh, and come up with something that will incorporate it. So now we've got all of our layers finished, we can make this, put this onto a card, sorry. So I'm gonna make a, a front stepper here. So I've got a five by, I've got two five by fives. I'm gonna take one of them and using my guillotine, I'm just gonna cut um, an inch off there. So cut an inch off one side, then I'll bring in my adorable scoreboard. Just pop that to one side and I'm just going to score this at two to create another score line and then this, once we've folded it, will be our front stepper. Oh. And we're going to just stick that directly on top of our 5x5 five five, and that's going to create you a really easy stepper. So instead of getting your A3 card stock out and creating this, which you definitely could if you wanted to, it's just an easy, quick way um, to create your own different sized card stock. So let's get this ready to go. And just double sided tape. Double sided tape. Stick it onto the front, no problem. Stick it onto the front and you've got your stepper straight away. So the key thing there that you did is, is straight away you turned it so that it was the right way to make sure that you, you put it on the right way. Yeah. I think I've done that once before where I've, I've, I've um, put the, the front bit on the wrong way around and ended up with a, with a oh, stepper yeah, you that don't, can't possibly We work. don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. So then we just need to decorate this up. I'm choosing, I've chosen the really nice, I think it's called Wisteria, um, Wisteria cardstock. And then I've got some... Um, white ink me and then we've got some parchment as well which fits the colors that we have in this theme so let's um, build this up I'm going to use some foam pads just to give it a little bit of dimension now you are making a stepper so you do have to be wary that you need to have space for your decoupage to fit out but we are going to lift our image sort of up so it's not a problem we will still have the space to do that because that's something I've done before I remember that one. I remember I, I re, it was before we had the new studio. It was. I think. And I remember sitting there. I, I was producing the show, I think. We were sitting there and watching thinking, how is she going to do that? How does this work? I don't understand it. How, how is does she it going work? to do that? So I'm just going to leave this to one side and we're going to do exactly the same with this. So just for my front panel, I've got the same measurements. So I've done them at. Um, quarter of an inch increment so obviously the starting one is five by five then um three and a half five by five five by five four, four and three quarters, three quarters yeah. and then four and a half i think you that absolutely right? yeah. nailed it with the parchment i know there. It's, it's, um, it makes it look really useful, nice doesn't, doesn't it? it but because the parchment is hard to stick down the best way to do this is to put on sort of like an element so for this I'm adding this have a beautiful day sentiment to the center and then what you can do is add your tape behind it and it's going to hide where you where your tape is um, because the last thing you want to do is to be able to see your tape sort of underneath things like that so let's put that on here and then we'll stick this to the front we're also going to stick this to the back and I'm just going to leave the parchment off because we need to make sure that our um, top of it's on and we can still move our stepper. 
loads of people saying that they've got the vaccine, they've had their vaccine, Natalie, which is brilliant news, isn't it? It is, it is. We're still, us youngins, we're still waiting. I think the... Um, Tell the, you what, it's not a great time to be young. <laughs> it's not, it's the best time to be old at the moment, isn't it? When you can get your vaccine. Excellent. It's, um, yeah, I think, I think we've done such a good job uh, countrywide, haven't we? And, and they're continuing to do such a good job. Yeah. Just excited for the day that everyone can be back together. So we've got our um, main image there now. We've got our, that's all glued down. We've got this piece on here. I'm gonna stick this on here and then we'll add our topper. But again, we need to make sure that we can still open and close this. So this, our main topper is gonna have to sit just over the top here. So if I just position this where it's gonna go, and then I will use some tape on the back of my um, image here. Um, and I'm just going to go about halfway up because it wasn't going over the bottom too much. So then we can put this in place. And obviously that is going to fold there. So we want this to just be over the top and then we can take this whole panel off add our tape again underneath it and what I'm also going to do because obviously this is just going to be stuck on this top bit now is I'm just going to take some construction glue and I'm going to put our construction glue that is back in stock mm. And I'm going to put two little dots. You need it to be back in stock. You've nearly run out. I know. It's getting there. It's quite full, this one. It's just because it's been the other way around. And I'm going to put two little blobs. Although they're coming out in big blobs. Do we have some spare card stock? There we go. At the bottom, because it's going to be hidden by this stepper anyway. Um, but you can also add gems over the top, so you've got less. Um, sort of lurking around there as well. There are so many clever ways to, loads to hide and loads, your adhesive it? And actually, your, your because it's quite clear, it doesn't show up too badly when you press it down. Um, and then the only thing that's left to do is just to add a few little gemstones. So we're going to go with the smaller ones. We're going to add some to our edges here. And then their and pearls are our white pearls and again the pearls came back into stock about two weeks ago i think maybe three weeks ago uh, they are available on the website and there is a multi-buy of all of those pearls there are nine different sorts i think you can get them together they are and they are beautiful so i'm just going to go with um the largest ones at the very top and then the, the middle size ones which we've used on the front of our stepper just underneath and um, to give that sort of fall in effect and then there is your card all made up and ready to go. Natalie, that's lovely. And, and it just shows off the depth in that decoupage. It's amazing. Uh, ever so pretty. Beautiful, uh, and isn't Natalie, it? I think we must have a little quick shout out to your nail varnish today. It's cool. Which is isn't rather it? nice. Let's take a look. It's super bright. It's I've gone full on um orange. There we go. You can see. Can you oh see? wait, there we go. That's ace. It's I cool, like isn't it. it? Uh, okay, let's take a look at some more cards that have been made with um, our lovely ladies decoupage book. So, um, we, what does it say at the bottom? Wishing you a birthday full of glitz and glamour with La Parfum there. A nice bottle of perfume, very nice. And I like the way that this um, they've used the, who is it? Let me see if I can work it out. It's Amy Wilkes, thank you very much Amy. Uh, this silver here that's just this little glimmer around the outside is our self-adhesive roll, I think, or it could be glitter card. It's glitter card. It's shimmer card, glitter shimmer card, which we have in stock, of course. Um, this is very nice. So this is a shaker card. There we go. So and all of those. And these are the different things that you can make as well with your um, decoupage, which is nice. Loads of different ideas for what you can do. There we go. Lovely rainbow effect on the background there with that lovely bike. And it's all right, we'll, we'll just change the camera angle slightly. There we go, so that you can see. There we go, isn't that pretty? So that's just cutting an aperture through and putting it in the center there is really, really nice. 
A little bit of die cutting at the top, um, just to add some accents to it. Very, very good. Okay, that is your first of three decoupage three. books, which you can get as a multi-buy. They are available in stock today at honkydorycrafts.co.uk. Uh, jump onto the website and you'll, you'll find them there. Um, there'll be a big banner, actually, because they're the big new launch yeah, of the be. day. Uh, £28.77, you can save 20% if you get all three together. So let's take a look at the second. So this is Midnight Garden, and there we go. Look at that. I think the artwork with Midnight Garden is, is incredible, isn't it? It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's always been a favourite, hasn't it, from when it was a mirrored collection. Um, it's just really lovely. The colours are really vibrant, but then you've got some quite dark accents in there. It's very mysterious as well. I think, um, I, was, I was thinking about this earlier on, and what would you call it? And, and I thought the word intense, but I don't think that's right. Atmospheric. Oh, good word. Isn't it? Good word. Love the, the animals in this. They're so stunning. I, just just the, the depth of colour. Where am I? Am I, am I on this one? No, this one here. The depth of colour is brilliant. I love that picket fence with the birds there. Look at the foxes at the bottom. Um, Midnight Garden artwork is just absolutely superb. Uh, and this may well be the last time we ever see it. Uh, we've had Midnight Garden, we've had Return to Midnight Garden, unless we have a return of the Return to Midnight Garden, which I don't <laughs> think we will. This could be the last time we ever see it. I'll just pop this back over there one sec. Try and make it so it doesn't all fall off. And let's take a closer look at some of this artwork. Oh, there we go. Um, this way, which will make uh, Emily's life more difficult straight away. But here we go. So you've got ribbon borders there, as we said before. You've got your sentiments that can all be, all be cut out. The, the backgrounds, or the, the first layer of your decoupage, is always quite simple. Um, so you can utilise these as toppers, which, as I said before, is what some people do. Um, but then you've got the... And if you just choose to use a couple of layers, you can do. It's totally up to you how many layers you use. It is your decoupage, as Natalie said before. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. The artwork is, is so lovely. Um, those cute little bunnies. And I think we go that way for this one. Um, very, very cute. You get multiple sheets of each, which means that you don't have to have a favourite and lose it. You can have a favourite and keep it as well, which is very good. 72 sheets in these decoupage books, uh, in each and every volume. And that makes 48 oh. individual decoupage toppers. 48 individual That's decoupage toppers. That's a lot, toppers. isn't it? It's a lot. You get so much. They are absolutely jam-packed for just £11.99. Let me see. I'll try and get the next one. There we go. So there's your there's your frog. Is it a frog, or is it a chicken monster? What was it called earlier on? What was the, the name for it? A mountain chicken. A mount is it a frog or is it a mountain chicken? Well, on Friday we will find out. And if that makes no sense to you, I'll, I'll repeat the win it weekly question it might in just be a little that, bit of time. I don't know why it would be. Because when we mm, no maybe it's. Yeah, in France, they eat frog's legs, don't they? And people say it tastes like chicken. Do people say it tastes like chicken? Yeah. Oh. So that, I'm putting two and two together here. You don't think that you see frogs on a mountain, though. Do you know what I mean? They must be big frogs, though, if they think that they're chickens. They're, they're chickens. Maybe they're monster frogs. I don't know. Look at the badgers and the foxes there. There's, I love that we've, we've got all different sorts of sentiments as well. So, so you get a variety of sentiments, which means that you get the opportunity to choose... Um, for your re recipient, exactly what you want that card to, what the theme of the card to be, whether it be birthday or happy money ever returns, or um, for a wonderful couple there that goes with the owls, which is lovely. I love that one. Um, isn't this super? Okay, let's go across to Natalie and see what she does with Midnight Garden. Okay, so I'm using the beautiful owls, and I've gone ahead um, and I've cut out my first layer, and I'm just going around with my craft knife into these edges here um, to take away this white area. But you don't have to do that. You could just leave this one layer out. It's completely up to you how intricate you want to get here. Um, but I want to put all the layers on just to give you the full effect um, of what we're creating here. Now, when I went to the warehouse to see what demos to do this morning, I saw this one and I was like, I have to do this one. Um, Mother's Day is coming up 
and owls are my my grandma's a bit obsessed with owls actually she's one of these people that has them everywhere um she's got two massive cupboards in the dining room just filled with owl ornaments it's really creepy actually <laughs> um it's really really you quite say creepy it's really cute. no i'm gonna be honest it's creepy um there's loads of them though she's gonna love it now that loads but i thought i'm gonna do this card um uh, in honor give it to her um on the weekend well, those owls are not creepy in any no, way. No, these are They're really very cute. cute. But I, so I find most ornaments quite creepy. So that's probably why. But when you've got like a, a shelf full of maybe a hundred little owl ornaments on each shelf, then it's creepy. And so you can really see here how it is really quite easy to cut out these pieces. You might think, oh, but it's cutting out. Um, but you don't have to do it at the speed I'm doing it at. You can do it at your own pace. Um, but they are really easy to follow. These lines, these white lines, um, go throughout all of your elements. This one, um, I'm only using my craft knife for because it's a really intricate inside piece. Otherwise, I'd be using my scissors as I do um, with most of these decoupage books because it is so easy. Um, to use your scissors with. So we've just got one more little piece and then we can start putting this together. So I've decided for this, because I love this, the shape of it, that we're actually gonna create a circle um, easel card. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do that um, when we've got this together. So let's pop, pop this out. And we'll put this over to one side to build up later on. So I've got a 4x4 four four card and I'm using my scalloped and straight edge nesting dies. I've gone for number one, two, three, four in um, that we're using. And I'm going to take some low tack tape. We're going to fold this over because we obviously want it to cut both sides. And it just fits just on the edge there. But I want to turn it over because I want to leave whether where your score line is in your cardstock. If you just leave it hanging over just slightly, it's going to allow you to create a circle shaped card. And you can do this with all your dies, all your different shapes, um, but it's a really nice way to make sort of funky shaped cards, but quite easily. So you want to do this twice. Um, so I've got one already cut out and then this one is going to stick to it. I'm going to use my construction glue to put this together as well because obviously um, you want to make sure it took a while to come out that then you want to make sure that your pieces are all together so let's pop this off um, and then I'm just going to peel away my tape that's just hanging over here like so and then we're going to, I've got my other one that we have here. So we're going to open them out and then your easel is going to sit like this. So what we need oh, to do lovely. now is just stick this to the inside using some glue. Um, you could use your tape if you want to, but when you're using circles and different shapes, it's always hard to get the glue around certain edges. So if you, uh, the tape, sorry, around all your funky edges. So using the construction glue, you know it's gonna hold because it's super, super strong. So let's stick this on top like so. And then we're gonna decorate the inside. So I've cut the same size circles um, like this, but what I need to do here um, is just stick this one. Before we stick it on, sorry, if I just fold it back the other way, because obviously we have a slight line where our piece um, folds. We can just use our craft knife just to trim that off. Um, and it's going to allow then when you fold your card stock this way and you've got that space where it's going to allow it to fold, to fold back again. Um, and I might just actually just trim a tiny bit more off. So I'm just going to use my just so that it sits nicely, otherwise yeah, it'll always be trying otherwise, to, it's always, to push back on itself. Yeah, and then it's going to move off a bit. So then some sense. more construction glue on this outside edge. 
I should have opened up one of those brand new bottles. So we're gonna you put You can't, that. Natalie. They've all been sold. No, already. <laughs> It's a bit like that with construction glue, it isn't is. it? It as soon as it flies it's in one out, hand and out the other. Flies. It's, um... So we put this now on our base and then I've got one for the top, which you don't need to cut off because although the score line's there, it's going to be nice and um, in line. So that's going to go, oops, that's going to go on top here. So we've got this beautiful pink colour. I think this is pink wafer that I've selected here. And then what I've done is I've taken the um, smaller black one with the sculpt edges and this is going to fit on the bottom. Now I did think about doing two so they were equal but when we put this on top you can't actually see around it but I wanted to bring the black in because you've got the black um, in that section there too. So we'll stick this on with some glue and then we can start adding all of our decoupage together and put that just directly on top. So let's add that to the bottom. We'll allow that all to stick together. I'm just going to push this this way slightly, that larger pink. So we'll leave that to one side just for a moment while we stick our owls to our element. So I'm going to go from the smallest to the largest this time. So you've got your smaller owl here, and this owl could actually, and these two as well actually, could just work as elements without um, putting them on this decoupage. You could just add them to a card straight away if you wish to. Um, so I'm gonna put this on here. There we go. And then this one, you want to make sure you're lining it up with the elements which is really really easy to do i love those owls and then i've got just a few little pieces here which i think stick to the outer frame so let's stick this onto that panel we were cutting out at the very beginning the pink and the black really works doesn't it yeah they match really well and this is just from our 2021 adorable scorable pack so i just got it out and flicked through it to see which colors would really work together and these ones just stood out straight away. So we've got our bigger image there. And then I've got three little flower elements, which this one fits up here. I can tell that straight away. We've got this one, which is going to go here, I believe. Yep, that fits perfect. And then one last one. This fits this way around. That way around there we go and then I'm gonna add some I'm gonna add some big foam pads to the centerpiece um, I would probably cut some bits down and stick them to the outer ones as well so it doesn't come off but because um, I want to do this super fast so we can get through and do some more demos I knew I was gonna stick that over See if we can just peel that bit off. Can we peel this off here? Yeah. There we go. I'm going to just stick it straight on using those ones and then um, when we come back to it I can add some more foam pads around the edge just to make sure that's lifted up too. But then let's stick this onto our image and I'm going to use foam pads on the main back piece just so it stands out. Uh, you also get included in these as well some border strips which I think are really good and because this is an easel we obviously need a stopper I'm going to add that and I've cut it using my guillotine so it's nice and straight we're going to add this to let's just see where we want this to stop that's always a good tip there isn't it so just checking where you want that to be yeah before you pop it on it doesn't need much, it's just a tiny lip for it to sit in. Yeah, against, just a little it? bit, just a little bit. So that's going to go there. And then we've got some sentiments here as well. And I'm going to use the For Someone Special um, on so this, here. So these uh, decoupage books are £11.99 each, but you can get all three of them together 
for a brilliant discounted price of £28.77. That saves you 20% when you buy all three books together. Such a good deal. Emily, did you find earlier on, was there a, a multi-buy on decoupage books? Yeah, it's three for 28 It's three for 28 so that's great news, because that means that if you've got different books yeah, that or you maybe, want from yeah, the past, that's a good idea. then you can mix and match between previous launches, if they're still in stock, and uh, the, the, one that the new three pads launched today. Such a good idea didn't even think about that. So now I'm putting my to someone special um, just on this bottom section here and then you've got your circle easel like ready to go. I'm just going to make sure that skull line is super scored and then it's easy to sit on your aperture here but you can make these the sentiments are really cute you've got many happy returns sent with love to a wonderful couple maybe it's an anniversary um, this one's for grandma's mother's day because she is obsessed with owls um, but you can see by using your dies you can make some really nice shaped cards for these to go on Natalie that's a lovely card and it matches your top perfectly it does doesn't it cute so now it's time for the Hunky Dory Headlines. Good morning everyone and welcome to the Hunky Dory Headlines. My name is Newsy McNewsreader. On Hunky Dory TV this week there will be two more shows for you. Have your Cheers to You Club gift at the ready to craft along with Rachel at 10am this Wednesday. Spin the wheel, prize winners, and a new launch. It truly is the show that has it all. Join Natalie and Dan for our Thankcraft It's Friday show on Friday at 10 a.m. for the launch of the new Pyramount Topper collection. Latest nutritional news. Finally, my winter fat has gone. Now I have spring rolls. Mm -hmm. I love that. Stock updates, back in stock. Inverted corner punch, back in stock. Spare blades for precision craft knife, back in stock. White craft glue, back in stock. And of course the biggie, construction glue, is back in stock. In other news, a man has contracted an awful disease where he can't stop telling airport jokes. His doctor says it's terminal. <laughs> now it's time for our thought of the week. Laughter is an instant vacation. It certainly is, and we could do with a vacation around about here, right about now. I've been Daniel Newhouse. No, I haven't. I've been Newsweek Newsreader. <laughs> Got that wrong. And that's the end of the Hunky Dory headlines. See you again next week. That was so fast. That was a quick change. Outed myself. Let's take a little look at some more of these cards that have been made with our Midnight, um, I was going to say Midnight Rainbows, Midnight Garden. Um, lovely bit of use of acetate there to create this sort of domed effect for the front of that card. That's really pretty. Um, we've got the little, I don't know what he is, what is he? It's like a, yeah, a weasel. Weasel. Hello, weasel. <laughs> it's a little weasel, we love him. We've got, of course, the hedgehogs. Really pretty and lovely depth again. Uh, the owls that Natalie did, that she she has um, crafted her top upon. I know. Based her top upon. That's a cute one, that one. Here we go. This looks to me like it's an easel card. Perfect. With the I foxes. I love that. Look at the colours they've used as well. It's really, Perfect. really pretty. I love the, the green in that. It's, it's a so beautiful. grand. So this is our matastic cardstock here, isn't it? It's really attractive. Um, there's the Kingfisher. Diving down. Seeing kingfishers in, in real life is quite incredible, isn't it? Have you ever seen have you seen a kingfisher in real no. life? Oh, it's brilliant. Just watching them. They, oh, it's the gorgeous. And look at this. That is rather special. That's Emma Lowe who's made that for us. Look at the light trip across that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's very nice with all that mirror, isn't it? It's really, really clever. And some nice use of falling leaves dies there at the bottom. There we go, perfect. How, how very lovely. That's our Midnight Garden decoupage book, £11.99. Of course, you can get all three of these for just £28.77. Let's take a look at book three. Here we go, Teddy Loves. 
What does Teddy love? Teddy loves doing all sorts. Teddy loves everything. Teddy loves everything. Teddy does sing. Teddy is a very outgoing Teddy. He is, isn't he? <laughs> he, d he does all sorts. Loads of things. I don't know anyone who, who paints, decorates, plays football, <laughs> plays a, a musical instrument, drives his car. Maybe, maybe. Driving a car's not that outgoing, I suppose, is it? Let me just move those out of the way. Okay, let's take a look. I'll bring this across here and we can see some of these a little bit closer up. There we go. Look at the, there we go. I think that's a fantastic image in the car, isn't it? It's really cute. So cute. There we go. Speeding on by. Number one winners. Perfect for the children, this. Perfect for the, uh, for the fellas, for the ladies. There's a lovely mix of artwork, both male and female in this. Um, all with this gorgeous decoupage again. Let's take a little look through the book itself. I'll just pop that back and hope it doesn't fall over. Okay, here is the Teddy Loves decoupage book. Again, just the same as the other two books in this launch. You get 72 pages in here, which in total make you 48 decoupage toppers. 150 GSM, nice and easy for cutting out um, and simple for cutting out. You will trim these out yourself from the backing sheets. Um, you've got the topper layers, which are the biggest layers with the sentiments and the, and the borders on those sheets. And then you have the individual there we go. For instance, that's um, that's one layer of decoupage on a separate sheet, all numbered so that you can easily work out which ones go on top of which and and um, let you easily layer them up in that sort of decoupage style. Really pretty these. People love They're cute really cute. As well. yeah. They're so cute. Great for um, grandparents, I think, um, for the kids to send. Grown with, with love, there. Isn't that just the cutest? But I love how how it's you know. So Teddy loves decorating. Teddy loves gardening. Teddy yeah. loves, You know, there's a real a real mix of different themes in this. But again, with that sort of cuteness uh, underpinning it all, I think it's really nice. There we go. There's a, uh, one with a birthday cake there on its side. I know, but uh, one with a birthday present and a balloon. So there's a, a just a, a real mix of themes and a real mix of occasions that you can use these for. Uh, there was retirement early on. Uh, new car, for instance, um, have a ball on your special day. So for football lovers, that's that gorgeous car, which is quite easy to trim out. You can see that it's oh, not it's too so detailed. Oh, it's so easy. So, so easy to do. I think a lot of them are as well. They're not um, hard to do. I think it's really quite an easy one. This one probably is the easier one out of the three, I would say, because okay. the images are quite chunky. Um, but they are super easy to do for sure. Happy retirement, it's time to enjoy the simple things in life. Sounds rather nice. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I don't think they'd allow us yet, would they? Probably not. A bit too early. There you go. You've got the, um, what's, what's, uh, let me see what this one, he's just chilling out with his book. Just chilling out with he's his book. He's got his book. birthday he's presents. Got a, he's got a beer. Having a, having a ball. Sounds rather nice. But it's a lovely mix of ladies and gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen teddies, ladies teddies? Yeah, I would ladies say and gentlemen so. teddies. There we go, let's go back to Nat and let's get our final demo of the day. Okay, so I have chosen to do Teddy Loves Football. Um, I thought it was fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna make this up. You can see here that I've cut all my layers out already. Um, I'm making this up for, um, it's Granad's birthday this Thursday, so I thought why not? Let's. Let's make a demo, give him a card. And why not? Why not? If you can be um, paid to make your demo. Uh, exactly. Make your yeah. This was my thought. You know what you're doing now. Well done. Um, but as <laughs> other people will know, well, they might not know actually, um, loads of other people have different teams they support, different colours that they um, their teams wear. So um, what you can do here, because this is paper and you can use our... Um, alcohol craft markers you can actually change the color of his kit so he was wearing a white kit um, but my granddad is a Blackpool fan and this looks like a Preston kit so we need to change that straight away um, because they are the biggest rivals um, that we have so I'm just going over with my alcohol marker changing this and you can do this for um, lots of different teams depending on um, what teams your family support whether you're making this for someone else so i'm just changing his top 
It was definitely the right colour to have it in, in the white, wasn't it, to enable you to do this? It's very it clever. was, it was. So you can change it up. Um, change it up. I'm going to just go over that badge as well. Um, and you can add as much or as little colour as you want to give it a bit more um, definition. So, so Blackpool first. and Preston, for those of you who don't know, uh, Blackpool and Preston are both in the northwest of England, if you're, um, uh, if you're, you're watching from overseas. Uh, and they are fierce, staunch rivals, they aren't really they? Are. Um, they really are. In the are. old football um, uh, world. Uh, Real staunch rivals. It's funny, I was talking to uh, my dad when I got home at the weekend, because me and Sam, on a Friday, have our little Friday lunch dates. And I said, it's the funniest thing, because we are, we both support rivaling football teams. Um, but we're just the best of friends. It's true. Um, and you do have lunch dates. I've we noticed We do have this. lunch dates. So you guys at home, tell us whether you think this is fair or not. So I'll go looking for Natalie or Sam on a Friday lunchtime, and they are they are seconded, hidden away in the little craft room, eating Kentucky Fried Chicken or McDonald's or Friday. what was it? What was it on Friday? Shall I tell you what it was on Friday? No, don't tell people what it was on Friday. I want to tell people what it you was on Friday. You can't tell people. Donna kebabs. <laughs> they were having lunchtime Friday, Donna kebabs. It was a lunch one. It wasn't a big one, but it was really delicious. It was it was actually quite it healthy. It smelled fantastic. It was really good. Um, so now we've Never got, an invite, though. Never an invite, you know. Um, now we've got our man all coloured in. And I have... You can colour each, each different layer up here so it's all matching. But because we're layering them up, we don't actually need to make sure all the layers are coloured, just the ones um, that we're going to use. So we've got him... Um, ready to go here um, on his kit. He's he's ready. He's raring to go. Um, go and play, play for his team. So we need to play badly add, for his team. Play badly. Well, it depends. Uh, guys, uh, there's a, a couple of comments about the Win It Weekly and Spin the Wheel uh, and so on. Um, uh, about whether or not it is UK only or whether it's people outside of the UK. Uh, I can absolutely assure you that it is, uh, it's just based on who is picked out of the hat. It's got nothing to do with where you live. If somebody lives on the moon and they win, then we send the, the, we'll send send the it, yeah. to the moon. It's as simple as that. Absolutely promise. Uh, someone's just said, Nat, yeah. didn't you only need to do the top layer? Yeah, I did. But I started off with the bottom <laughs> layer. But I only did the top layer now. But it's up to you because you can see the other layers behind. So it is down to how sort of particular you are with that but I have just gone over with that top layer now and we're just going to stick this on here do you know what I have realized though I've missed out his little arm here so now, we'll and Dickinson says in. Dan you could do a lunch date with Alan you could do a lunch date with Alan but Alan's not here all the time is the rumors would abound they would they would too they many really rumors would. you can't have me and Alan in the same place at the same time no bad things happen bad things happen uh, Sue says, Natalie, your nails match your shirt. I do think so. It, it, was, it wasn't planned like that. Um, but I did. I wanted them to be super um, springy and bright. So that's why we went with orange this week. We've been pink for a while. Different shades of pink, but we, we've gone for orange this week. It's an underused colour, orange, isn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful colour. It's my favourite. Um, but yeah, it doesn't get used very often. Lots of different shades as well. All lovely. So we've got a little present waiting for him. And then the last one is his nose. And then we just need to put this onto a card. So I'm using a four by six. And I've got a little bit of gold mirror, which we're going to stick on here straight away. And then we're going to layer up some of the colours that we've got in our piece. So we're going on with mirror. What's um, the orange melon called? There's an orange melon, it's like orange, orange inside. Melon. Gala. Is it gala? I don't know. The the one I know the one I really like, that's honeydew. That's like a Oh that's like a yellow, isn't it? It's like it? a yellow and really oh, really um, soft and thirsty. Is it cantaloupe? Cantaloupe, is yeah. It cantaloupe. Yeah. yeah. It's got a strange, strange name, hasn't it? Um and then we're gonna go in with some green adorable scrubble. Now this is really bright actually, but it does still work because you've still got the green so this is just going to be a small layer so um three and um three quarters 
by five and three quarters for that one. And that's gonna give us that little um, gold edge all the way around. Then I think we're gonna go in with a white adorable scoreable, um, just to give it a really clean, fresh look. And we will do that at um, two notches below what we've just cut, which was three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So two notches below that is gonna give you a really thin green edge. So it's totally, totally different. Just make sure that that is straight before we stick it on. Yep. So we'll stick that on here. And this is original adorable scoreboard, not matte tastic. No. Yeah? Because that will match with the uh, with the, the yeah, sort of satin sheen that Yeah, it gives you that nice that satin get. finish, doesn't yeah. it, the whole way through. So let's put that on here. And then you get a you get two different ribbon strips in here. You get um, one that's got like lines on it, and then you get one that says to to my man of the match, which I think is lovely. So we're going to use that, and we're going to put that across here. Let's just build up this and put this on, and then we can sort of use our topper, see where we're going to place it, because there is a few different options that you can do here. Um, another thing as well, which would look quite nice, is if we put our topper onto some gold mirror and then cut around the edges and that would give you that nice shape as well just to make it a little bit more um, stand out yeah mm. i think i'm going to have him over the top as well i've done this a few times in my cards where i've just let it sit sort of like over the top but i think i think i do want it to be this way because we've got a sentiment, we've got a little border strip which I'm going to use. So let's stick my, I'm going to put my border strip onto some adorable scoreboard which I'm also going to match um, into this orange colour so that we'll bring in all of the colour in. Our little man of the match has gone back to school today. Was it a sad dropping Max's, him off? Uh, I didn't drop him off so uh, Deb's dropped him off them. this morning. Um, if they've all got up, no, they have got up. Uh, Max was, I woke him up before I left this morning. Was he excited? And he's, he's so excited. I mean, really so excited. It's, it was lovely, a little bit nervous. Guys, you at home, you will all remember, I'm sure, your, your first day at school, the first day back on each, after each new year. Well, that's what it they're all nervous. doing again today, aren't it they? It is, it they is They did it in September, they're doing it again now. Um, so he's quite nervous really to see his friends again Aww. and you know we've not been able to see them really outside of um, you know during lockdown no, so she's got to be safe. as you can imagine but um, yeah I think it's it's so it's so exciting for all the kiddos to be back at school today. It's going to be good for them isn't it? And I'm sure both mothers, grandparents and children will all agree that the best place for them is school. Yeah. I'm it's sure been a long be few months. People very excited that they've been able to ship them off today. In a nice been way. throwing them out the door, Deb said, throwing them out the car. Deb said, <laughs> while well, the car's still moving, I hope yeah. not. Um, Deb said, she said, I'm going to miss him so much tomorrow. Ella is still at home because he only goes back on Wednesday. Okay. Um, but she said, I'll miss him so much. And uh, I bet she will. They've both been there all the time, haven't they? Like little, all together doing their work. So it's, it's going to be really different. Big change. But hopefully that's it now. Yeah, we come back again. There's some interesting talk. I've not. We don't know. I don't think anything's been decided yet. But some interesting talk about whether they're going to go um, to things like five term years. I or, saw that. Have you seen a bit of that? Yeah. Or, or, or maybe shorter summer holidays. Or, Crazy, isn't it? Um, but I suppose that you know the, the way the terms work, it, it's it's not set in stone. I guess it, it's just that that's what we're used to. So if it changes, it changes, I guess. So it just seem a bit strange. I needed to extend this, but as you can see, really only slightly. Um, but this is going to cover up here, and it's going to mean that you've got that nice strip running the whole way across. Um, it's all sort of uniformed and things like that. So I'm just going to stick that to the bottom there. So I know that when I put that down, it's not going to go over the top. And I'll do exactly the same just underneath. And then, do we have some more? If I pop another one just under there, I'll know that that will fit perfectly when we add this on. I'm feeling like I should have done some blue around on my layers as well, but we're going to leave it just like this. We're just going to add 
our sentiment on and then we will be done. So you could have got so creative with this though, you could have used, um, made a little football background with like loads of lo loads and loads of footballs on. Um, you could do some really fun stuff when you, you have you the time. You do get enough because you get multiple sheets of each in the in the pad, in the uh, in the decoupage book. You absolutely can, can't you? You really, really can. Um, but but I really like what you've done there now. I like that it pops there. up on the left hand side there of the card. It looks smart. Um, but you've got loads of ability to be able to change that up to fit like the person that you're giving it to and personalise it, which is really nice. It's very, very, very clever the way that you change the colour of the although although of course it should be white, you've no, changed the colour to um, to orange. I think it's very clever what you've done. Uh, well done, thank you very much, Natalie. Uh, everybody at home, a couple of reminders. Construction glue is back in stock and we've taken a further pound off the multi-buy so you can get six bottles, a full six bottles, for £8.99 instead of £9.99. We're leaving that on for this week, so we're going to do it at that price for this week, okay? Um, as, a, as a thank you for being so patient, as apology for, being, for it being out of stock. Uh, okay, Win It Weekly, let's just remind you... If you want to be in with a chance of winning our February Little Books multi-buy, which is all three of these books, the musical instruments, the fairy tale cottages, uh, and indeed those gorgeous kittens, then all you need to do is be, to be in with a chance of winning is to answer this question. Native to the Caribbean, what sort of animal is the mountain chicken? Is it A, a frog? Is it B, a flamingo? Or is it C, a monkey? Lots of people I've noticed saying frog now. I know, I hope I haven't... Um... You think it's frog, don't you? But For different reasons, though. But it might be one of the other ones. I, you really I, might, don't, you I just think don't know. I'm going to go with flamingo because it's, it's got feathers. Yeah. So do you yeah. know what I mean? Could There's be. lots of different reasons for how it could be each one. Not expecting any of those to really be mountains, so it's really quite tricky. But 10 o'clock Monday, uh, Monday, Friday morning on our Thankcraft It's Friday show, where indeed we will be spinning the wheel and we will be giving away five winners will win all three of those books. So that's 15 books going out of the door this week. Um, guys, I want to say thank you very much for spending an hour and 10 minutes with us this morning. It has been our pleasure. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, so we'll say goodbye. And Wednesday, do not forget Rachel at 10 a.m. with Sheila, I believe. Yes, with Sheila. With a great big craft along with our Cheers to You Club gift. If you've got yours and haven't used it yet, make sure you watch the craft along and indeed craft along with the team. It's a big goodbye from Emily. It's a big goodbye from Natalie. Goodbye. Bye. And it's a bye from me. See you later, guys. Bye.